Hello my angels and devils and all who may want to hear it's Amanda Christina. I have been sitting on this box for a while. I'm so sorry for not posting it sooner but this is the first day I've set up the camera and done everything. So what's in the box? In the box. What's in the blitzy box? This is from the Black Friday weekend sale. I probably could have ordered these things with my other order but didn't realise that because usually they have different things for Cyber Monday, but that's okay. This year they did it a little different. Now, I'm going to put a disclaimer on this because some of you are going to see this and be like, that's broken. It did not come broken. I'll get to that in a minute. I, got, I cannot believe how cheap this was. Now, this was about 21 US postage. All this is in US dollars. I'll keep it in US dollars for now. Um, yeah, $21.95 US postage, which is about $30, $32 Australian. So this gorgeous meditative, meditative designs colouring in book, oh, my gosh, this is for my niece. I'm not going to do a huge flip through. Um, it was a dollar fifty. I'm not joking. It was a dollar fifty. Blitzy is awesome for their colouring in books during Black Friday. Now, for some reason, I thought these might be a little bigger, but I thought these would be good for glitter and stuff. So these are mini funnels, and they are do 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 do. What are they? Release. Plastic funnels, 75 cents US. I just thought they would come in very handy. Um, now, I don't have a fuse tool. For anyone who watched my first video, you know I missed out. <laughs> my heart's still a little broken, but a friend of mine has assured me she's going to get me one at some point or I can pay her to get me one from her local craft shop, which is good because it'll have the right fitting for here. But I bought two packets of the fusible sheeting these are 10 packs, packs of 10, and they were $2.31 each US. And I just thought that was too cheap not to buy some because when I get my fuse tool, other than doing things that I want to do for my storage, I'm going to want to play. <laughs> we all know that. We, we, we know this. Um, that's one of my phone covers, which is the wrong size. Okay, so... I'm trying I'm gonna leave some stuff to the end okay that is not even from there that's um bling sheeting from eBay so there are things in here that I didn't realize they were, were in here okay so when I bought these I thought these were going to be slightly thicker dowels but I actually have an idea of some ways to use these these were where are you I was upset because one of the reasons I actually put this order through uh, where are you? Oh, Woodsy's Dows, these were like $1.39, was because they had a 12 pack of <sighs> Copic markers for $12 US. But sadly, my order went in a little too late and I missed out. So I grabbed these snowflakes, which I'll probably put away for next Christmas now or for our winter, which is in a few months. And these were, I'm pretty sure a dollar something. Um, Dairy snowflakes, 94 cents US. So they were such a good buy. Um, I have two of the same colour brush though. Now before you think I am nutso, ha ha ha, my sister accidentally ordered two of a, a colour she already had. So rather than her being stuck with it or because these little things of brush o go a long way, um, she bought she asked me to get one in my order and I said because I said we can just switch it. Then I realized she was ordering a color I didn't have and that if she got that color and I didn't, I'd probably be upset. So I ordered one for me too. So there's two sea green brush o's. Now if you have not tried brush o's, if you look right back to the early start of my channel, there is actually a tutorial on stamping with these. It's so much fun. Um, I just saw Brusho. They were 318 each, which is so good. Brusho is amazing. I was not going to get any extra at the moment because I have some. This is my this box behind me is my watercolour box, and there's some in there. 
So I bought this. I'm very bad at knowing what measurements are. I thought that would be a little wide, higher, um, yeah, bigger. So I thought that would be good to do a circlet with. But I'm sure I will think of something else to use it. It is a gold macrame ring and it was 32 cents, which is why I grabbed it. I thought, oh, well, if it's not what I want, I'm sure I can think of something. Now there is another polychromos pen floating around here somewhere and I snapped it accidentally. It was a hot day, this was on my bed, it escaped and suddenly I pick up a pencil and snap it. Don't ask, I wasn't happy with myself. But on the upside these were a dollar sixty-five each so I didn't pay an exorbitant price for it and I can still use the pencil. Let me know below, I also have some Prisma colours if you'd like me to see to, to see someone who is not very good with pencils and who really is clueless do a comparison. <laughs> this is a mop brush, something I needed for a watercolour class I did on online card classes and this was Dow's mop brush $1.51 and, and it's low on Cornell so it's not a bad brand. So I grabbed that. That was all the little bits that were in this little baggy minus one pencil which is loose in here. <laughs> I just pop all these back so I can move them out of my way. Now I don't have a very much Halloween-y stuff so when I saw these two next items I had to grab them. The Making Memories is, let me see, sorry, um, these were $1.73 and I just thought these were super cute and I'm a glitter girl so I had to have them. <laughs> I just thought they were really nice. And I still owe someone Halloween Happy Mail. That's how behind I am. Um, I wish I said I'd grant. Now these are Pebbles Ink. There are three sheets. There's 50 stickers in here. And these were 314. And I just thought these were super cute. So there's the three different sets. Now these are probably older ones. They're probably not ones that... But um, just so if you want to see the sort of more close-up of the back. Um, but I just thought they'd be really cool to have. Um, okay. Ah, there's part of one of the pencils. I'm, I'm sort of sorting through trying to keep some stuff for towards the end because there's a whole lot of stuff that belongs together. So I thought I would do those together. Now, that's here for a tutorial. That's not even here. Oh, and there's a dog bow in here. I didn't even know that. I've been looking for that bow. Okay, so the um, so that's part of the broken pencil. The other part will be around, but it can be sharpened and used. Yes, I'm upset I broke it, but at the end of the day, it was $1.65. It's not the end of the world. So I have a gold glitter sheet. Now, this was $1.30 something, I think it was. Um, uh, Okay, where'd I put that? I swear I just saw this. Yeah. Okay, so I have the Wink of Stella and they were $3.88. I grabbed a clear one. The 12 by 12 basil was 44 cents, so I grabbed three sheets because I'm always in need of black cardstock. And it was very ambiguously worded. I didn't know whether you were going to get one sheet or 20 sheets, just the way they did their description. It was the same with the gold cardstock, which is King's Crown and was $1.50. Normally I wouldn't pay that, but I just thought it was worth a shot. And also because look at how sparkly that is. So pretty. Okay, the next thing I grabbed was this pack. I, I, I wanted to get my ordering because I didn't want to miss out on the mini alphabet punch board and the stamp press. So I didn't go thoroughly through the site like I did when I was building up this order. This is 20 sheets of gold and silver cardstock. It was A4 size. Uh, oh, and I missed showing you there was um, Tim Holtz alcohol mixatives in snow cap, which was two ninety, which is just a little bottle. Um, where are we? This was three dollars fourteen for twenty sheets, so ten sheets of gold and silver. And I just thought having that for projects and especially for die cutting would come in really handy. 
even though I bought the little gold and silver books, I just, I was like, you know what, this is my big blowout for the year. This is going to hold me probably until next year, uh, until next Black Friday. Hopefully I'll have money for that sale, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. So I've just been pulling stuff out of here. There's the other half of my pencil. I'm so disorganized. This is such a mess. That was something else I pulled out, something else. Okay, so I have Tim Holtz Little Itty Spiders because they were super cute. Um, and they were $3.47, which I thought was a little much for the size, but I do think they're very cute. The irony of this coming in the new year is that I had thrown, because I wasn't going to do the spotlight order, I didn't know I was doing the spotlight order, but I grabbed the Dear Santa by Michelle Coleman photo, photo play 6x6 paper pad, but that'll give me something nice for the new year. That was, it wasn't very much, it was like three fifty or something. Um, uh, done that. Oh, the Fabric Fuse Glue, which is here, was two eighty nine, just because that I just saw that on the sheet. Six by six paper pad was three dollars seventy seven US. So, like these are prices that I cannot get here. Now we go on to the main bulk of this order, and this was a complete indulgence. I love simply gorgeous stuff. All the paper packs were sold out. I was heartbroken the girl in the teacup was sold out because I would have bought her at three dollars in a heartbeat. And by the time I got to put my order in, the one I wanted the absolute most, which is the girl standing on the books, because if ever there was a Simply Gorgeous stamp that was so very me, it is the girl standing on the books. Um, I bought a heap of Simply Gorgeous stuff. Hang on one. I'm missing something. Ah, here it is. It's caught up. Okay. So I bought two of these packs. Now these were three. I've lost my sheet now. These were three fifty nine. I'm pretty sure. So I grabbed the A4 decoupage pack in um, pink poppy. Isn't she beautiful? And I won't open it, but I will show you the back. Honestly, did not buy these for the paper in them. I'm not super fussed on the paper. I bought them for all the little decoupage pieces just because I want to try and up my game a little bit. And I just thought these would be so fun for Happy Mail. Um, and this is called Little Things. And if ever Little Things was appropriate, it is definitely appropriate for me being a little. Um, so there's that. And then there's the the sheets that it shows on the back, and that is so pretty. So they were like three fifty nine. Now only one of these stamps was a bit more than I intended to spend, and I didn't realise that I had five of them in my cart, but I couldn't resist. I just couldn't because I could see using these. Now this one, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know about Po Party. And I just thought this would be so good for something po party -esque. Um, And this is number 12 on top of the world. Isn't she beautiful? Then this one is 19 holly. But I thought, even though she has the holly leaves, I thought if you coloured her differently, she'd just look like a little elf or like. Now, we'll put that one to the back. These were $1.50 or $1.59 each. This one was super cute and I looked at the lights and again thought if you coloured them green you could make them look like little like little leaves instead and she's fairy lights. Now one of the other names I go by is Fairy Amanda so that was very appropriate. And this one I love. I've just always loved this. I think I may have this in the bigger size but I'd have to go through my stuff and find out. That is the Black Star. Now this one was $1.95. Five, I think or $1.99 and this is a washed and it's the little mer one I couldn't resist um, I know too many people who are mermaids that I just could not resist that and that's it that's the entire blitzy order this was $120 AU with postage for everything you saw here so 
excuse me, when you look at that and you think about how much I got for that, I could not do that in Australia, even with stuff on crazy sale. It just would not happen. So that is why I look forward and covet the Blitzy Black Friday sale every year. Why it is something so, so very important to me is because it's my one time of year to really up my stash. And, and that's what it comes down to. It is my one time of year to really, really up my stash get some new toys to play with and, you know, have have some things that I also need. The mop brush I need for a class that I did that I, I couldn't do all the techniques because I couldn't work them out without the mop brush. I want to try the fabric fuse glue because I don't like the way that craft the craft glue, clear craft glue, this um, works with the ribbon and stuff. And I'm finding that I think I need a proper iron to iron on the interfacing because my little craft iron and the travel iron are just crap. So I just thought I'd try fabric fuse and see how I went. Things like making the HG Wells tie and stuff where I'm actually creating custom ribbons. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm so sorry this is such a long video. I know some of you don't like watching long videos. Feel free to skip the videos you don't want to watch. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to get playing with all this stuff. I have a tutorial with my uh, my alphabet punch board coming up soon. And yeah, so I hope you did enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got. There's not going to be probably a lot of craft hauls this year. Um, they'll be few and far between at, at the most. Um, I was going to get some Valentine's stuff when Spotlight had their big super sale, but I missed it. I got paid just a little bit too late to get the stuff. So um, it all went back up and I was just like, you know what, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to work with what I have. I hope you're having an amazing 2017. I hope life is treating you well. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I hope you're making plans to have an amazing time this year, whatever you're doing. Um, just remember, even if you're stuck at home, even if you don't get to go many places, because I sure as hell don't, it doesn't mean your life can't be interesting and it can't be fun. Uh, so <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, click the like button, use the passcode Simply Gorgeous, because this was a Simply Gorgeous box. Um, to let me know that you made it all the way through this video. The usuals, click the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below and let me know what you liked out of this box of goodness and what did you get anything from the Blitzy Black Friday sale and if so, what did you get? Um, yeah, so just remember, you are important, I love you and you matter. Bye.